morning, Bearcats. I'm Philip. And I'm George. Today is Friday, September 13th. And this is Bearcat News. Today's lunch is mashed potatoes, peas, tossed salad, assorted fruit. Choose one entree of dill chicken bites with one breadstick, macaroni and cheese with one breadstick, a PB&J pack, and a chef salad. Our top story today takes a look at our September CTE Steel of the Month. How's it going, Bearcats? Welcome back in. We are checking in with our CTE Student of the Month. We already did our Student of the Month for the month of October, or for August. Now we are talking about our CTE Student of the Month for the month of September. In the month of September, horticulture is the program that is going to be highlighted. And drum roll, please. The Student of the Month is Solana Valles. All right. Congratulations, Thank Solana. You. Thank really, you. Really, really proud of you. Thank Tell you. us really quickly. What are some things that you've learned while you've been in uh, those horticulture, floriculture, and dual enrollment greenhouse management classes? Well, I've learned good teamwork, and I learned like new skills and stuff I want to do for the future. Okay. And it's something I really want to do when I grow up. Okay. So you, not only have you learned a lot of cool things, but it sounds like you want to create a, a job, a career like that one day. Yes. Okay. Awesome. So do you want to uh, make flowers and do things like that? Yes. I want to make bouquets in my future for like weddings and stuff. Very cool. Very cool. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. And uh, you've taken, how many times have you taken Miss, Miss Clark's classes? This will be the third year. Third year. So if you could tell any students who are maybe thinking about doing floriculture, horticulture, or greenhouse management, what would you tell them? I say you should do it because it's fun. You learn new things and you learn teamwork and social skills that you'll need in the future. And I think it's just something you need to learn or something is fun to learn. Yeah. And it sounds like you enjoy Miss Clark as well. Yeah, and she's very nice. Awesome, awesome. All right, well, Solana, I'm really proud of your hard work. Can you keep up the good work, okay? All right, thank you. All right, well, guys, that is our CTE Student of the Month for the month of September. Tune in again on October as we check in with our next CT Student of the Month. This class is Horticulture Science, and it's basically like the foundation of all things plants. So you're learning what plants are and how they grow, their anatomy and physiology and we just learn how to take care of plants. It is fun, I mean, you gotta put in the work, but it is a hands-on class, so we're not always like sitting behind a desk or on a computer. You get to go outside, you get to actually get your hands dirty, um, and you actually get to like take home plants as well. September is National Suicide Prevention Month, a moment that serves as a powerful reminder that there are steps we all must take in looking forward to and looking out for loved ones, the people in our community, and those who have been impacted by this leading cause of death. If you or somebody you know is experiencing a mental health crisis, call or text 988 immediately. Hosa wants all Bearcats to know you can reach out to your school counselors for support. If you need volunteer hours, here is an excellent opportunity. The first fall festival is on Sunday, October 26th around noon. To ensure the success of this event, we are seeking volunteers to, to assist with various tasks, including setup and takedown, management game tables, assisting for dance, and parking management. Please see Ms. Clear for more information. Students should now be able to access their digital ID in the PowerSchool app on their phone. It can be found under the Tools menu. Anyone without a phone can have their PowerSchool page that lists their name and student ID number printed for them at school to use for free access to sporting events. Please see Ms. Piedmont with any questions. Are you looking for a treat and help you out your fellow students? See a member of DECA about ordering pastries for sale last through the 20th. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Thomas in B33. Communities and Schools of Appalachian Highlands has a new attendance challenge for the month of September. The homeroom class that has the best attendance rate for each week will win a Sunday party each Friday. The teacher with the class will also receive coverage for their duties that day. Any young lady interested in participating in the Queen of Hearts campaign, please see Miss Clear in room 224. For more information, this is a fundraising campaign for the American Heart Association. Will you be 18 by November 5th? Excited to participate in democracy and exercise your right to vote? Please stop by Miss Rife's classroom in room 133 to register to vote. Election day is November 5th and you must be registered. As always, your books are on scale on yearbookordercenter.com for $70. You can type in Virginia High School or our code 25761 to purchase. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Morales. And let's now, 
And now let's take a look at upcoming Bearcat events. Today is an early dismissal day. School will end around 120. Also, the football team will travel to Radford. On Saturday, cross country will run in Jonesboro. Next week, volleyball plays Rye Cove on Tuesday. Show up and part of the Bearcat Nation. That's your Bearcat news for Friday. We hope you have a productive and memorable day.